They are the stuff of nightmares. The larvae of the drone fly, they love concerts, and if you have them in your compost pile, it's in serious trouble. Just the very name, the rat-tailed maggot, is enough to cause a serious dose of the heebie-jeebies. The hover or drone fly lays its eggs in the most inhospitable environment it can find. No, not my teenage daughter's bedroom, rather cesspools rich in decaying organic matter. Other favourite places are excess water running off manure and compost piles, sewerage, drainage ditches, basically anywhere you'll find heavily polluted water that's low in oxygen and high in organic content. Big fans of Radiohead and Ed Sheeran, they snuck into last year's Glastonbury Festival, hiding in the compost toilets. As larvae they breathe through a three-segmented telescopic siphon, the rats tail located on its rear end. This snorkel is an average the length of the maggot's body but it can be extended anywhere up to 15 centimeters to allow the larvae to remain submerged while they fatten up. Once they're fully grown as larvae they crawl out of their stagnant water world and move to drier places looking for somewhere to pupate. In the pupate stage the body color changes to a dark reddish brown and two tiny horns emerge from the front end with the rat's tail curled and stiffened over the back. The horns assist with breathing as the rat's tail or siphon is now useless. Ten days later a beautiful beneficial drone or hoverfly emerges. That's the rat-tailed maggot in one minute.